Spring City Council has approved an ordinance this week that will impact all existing and future carports. New Science Mayo Davison live tonight to explain what carport owners need to know to avoid a fine. Mayo. Yeah, under this new ordinance, carports like the one behind me would have to be either taken down or fixed due to the structure being completely enclosed. Now, the new rules comes after residents have been complaining about carports in their neighborhoods for years, saying they restrict vision and can be eyesores. It's been roughly 15 months since the Colorado Springs City Council decided to take a hard look at carports. Citizen um, received a complaint and uh, a violation of code and uh, was so upset, as I understand it, that um, he or she drove around the city and basically made complaints against 60 other carports. Neighbors in the community would complain, you know, about the carports, that they were dangerous, uh, again, that they were not allowing good vision and safety as people were backing out. The incident prompting city council members to work on rules that would allow carports and regulate how they're built. So there's been some tension around, one, it was illegal and, and to now make it legal. Under the new ordinance, the city will restrict where a carport can be placed in a front yard and set building requirements to prevent sidewalks and streets from being blocked from view when backing out of them. You can have carports as long as the safety is the primary thing and the secondary thing, the aesthetics. Whether or not it looks like it fits into the neighborhood and it, it's not glaring and it doesn't hurt the property values of all the, you know, the surrounding properties. The ordinance prohibits the following. Carports with a fabric or nylon roof with skinny posts, fabric or nylon tarp shelter, or continuous roof on the sides and full side panels. We know that these could cost thousands of dollars in some cases to make the changes, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, and, uh, you know, maybe we can even work with neighborhood organizations and, and maybe some nonprofits to help people that really don't have any money. Council members say carport owners will have time to make the changes, but they don't have a date just yet. The ordinance will go into effect after a second vote in about two weeks. Council members say car existing carports won't be grandfathered in because they've been illegal to have in the first place. Carport owner owners who don't comply with the new rules can either take their structure down or pay a f or pay a fine. They can also appeal the decision. In Colorado Springs, Mayo Davison, News 5. Mike Davis.